Cobble says it was suicide, but I don't really believe that. It's horrible. Yes. I'll say goodbye. I was going to get the cemetery key. Could you lend me the cemetery key? I would like a few moments there to collect my thoughts. Sure. Take it. Parker, so young, and already in the next world.
Good evening, Mr. Bishop. Good evening. No. What is it? Jug's dead. It's horrible. Yes. Could you lend me the straw?
Lilith showed me impressive visions that shocked me. Boniskin contacted me. I understand that the evil curse of Cthulhu can emphasize and will ruin the whole world. I'm afraid I'm the only one who can beat them. Now, Next world.
the sun will turn. You cannot win. You dare trouble my sleep. And for that, you must pay the price. Listen carefully, Jonas. Your sleep will soon be eternal. Do you hear me? Your blood will be mine. It's all over for you, Jonas. I'm going to destroy you and your filthy kind. Imbecile! You know nothing of my powers. Gaze upon me and implore your feeble god. May Cthulhu grant me his aid.
Poor Parker, so young and already... You are safe. Thank you for saving my life. He's exhausted. Walter, help me. We'll take him to the house. Do not struggle. No harm will come to you here. I don't know how to thank you. My son Walter told me of your adventure the other evening. I really must go. Such impatience. You must rest a little and tell me of your adventure. Walter, hand over the tripod you took from Mr. Parker and leave us, please. I would prefer all this to remain our secret. My son is easily impressed. Horrible events are taking place in Illsmouth. If I don't put a stop to them very soon, then even more ghastly things will happen. How lucky I was that you were there. take care of the graveyard. We heard the noise. It's not the first time folks have taken an interest in that grave. Really? My husband John, God rest his soul, told me of dreadful things before he passed on. We were newlyweds when Jonas died. John went to the Hamilton house for the wake. Do they still live there? No. After the fishery went bust and Jonas died, they moved closer to the harbor. 
Jonas's body was laid out on the top floor of the house. At that time, there was a window in the wall. John looked through, and what he saw was a desert with giant stones and strange creatures. My God! John was frightened. He lowered his eyes. On the ground was the sign. Wilbur, who was standing over his father's body, seemed ill at ease. He covered over the sign with a sheet. Well, do you know? The sign shone through the sheet. After that, the window was bricked up. The sign must have something to do with the curse. If I can place the statuettes on... Let me explain. There are in Ilsmouth four families who are trying to help some unspeakably evil gods to return to this world. The gods are called the Great Ancients, and they ruled the world many thousands of years ago. To destroy these families, I must place these four statuettes on their houses. Strange words are engraved on the bases of these statuettes. Who are these families? Arlington, Hambleton, Coldstone, and Tyler. I know that Walter hid a drawing of the sign around here. It was a kind of cross, I think. We must find it. I'll look near the fireplace. Mrs. Webster, come quick. I found it. Please hurry, Mr. Parker. There isn't much time. drawing of a star. Keep away from Jonas Hamilton's house. There's a good chance they're waiting for you there. They need to be weakened first. You think they already know? I'm sure of it. Didn't anyone ever tell you? Of the abyss, 
come to my aid. Fill me with the power of the age-old career. <laughs> trying that on me, Parker. You're gravely mistaken if you imagine you can eliminate me. Rala! Gana! Gana Haas Tick No, not that. No, Parker, not that. I beg you. Good God, how ghastly. Cthulhu, help thy faithful servant. Your demand. 
demonic power guided my corrupted soul. Barking, he must be here.
dog's barking. He must be here. So, Naya, Shoot. So, so, Naya.
Toot! Sir? Face it, Parker. You're finished. You'll pay for this. Goodbye! I am possible! God found the thing for Mercy Parker! Parker! God's a guy! you! A curse on you for Ileha! Fadadam Iahe Kathulu Eya! Have you all abandoned me? I curse you, Parker. You will not. You are a fool. Dagon, your soul I have the feeling that without you... Mr. Parker, could you tell me what you were doing last night in Jonas Hamilton's house? No, I couldn't tell you. That's all very well, but... What if I told you I was acting in the interest of the whole community? Would you believe me? Yes. I think I would believe you. I have lived in Ilzimuth too long not to know of some terrible things. Doctor, if everything goes to plan, the evil shadow that hangs over Ilzimuth will soon be a mere memory. These things have something to do with the comet, don't they? Yes, tonight's the night. Then there is precious little time to be lost. Last night's events caused quite a stir. I was called upon this morning to practice an autopsy on the body of Andrew Arlington. For a few moments I almost lost my mind. He understands nothing. By the way, be careful. He's looking for you. I had gathered that much. I must leave you. Duty calls. Good luck, Mr. Parker. Ah, Miss Gilchrist gave me this for you. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs>